So about two years ago, the CIA director called me and said, what's going on? And I uh, said, well, you got to go think about China, really. You, you go and think about China. Okay, that's good, thank you. What else? Well, after that, uh, you th China. <laughs> You have to take your people and require them to drop in and work in the other camp yep. with the other team. And you have to invite their people to come and do that where you are. Threats. So of course there's gonna be culture clash there. You have people with different missions. And it's once you realize that there is an overlap between those missions, that there's a, a shared focus, which became all too clear after September 11th, that suddenly you find that uh, you, you can expand that overlap and people can learn to, to bridge that culture through the kind of hostage exchanges that, yep. that Andy talked about. Yep. So I think over time you're gonna see a much greater, um, you are seeing and are gonna continue to see a much greater level of cooperation. But How intent is China on retaking Taiwan? Mm -hmm. And is there, a, is there an accelerated or a you know, prolonged timeline that they have in mind? And are they learning lessons from what's happened around, uh, what's happening with Ukraine and Russia uh, are they learning lessons from that and applying those lessons? Uh, and are we and we on the other side in alliance learning lessons from what's happening as well? I mean, I hear those those questions yeah. there. One year ago, Russia invaded. Because why? Because they know that it was going to the West, for sure. So, and if we don't do that, then we've lost. But China is different. China and Taiwan is very different, we can do it much later on. Let's just wait for a while.